in favor of this uh, project as per the current plan and those who are opposing the current plan. Okay, so that should be the objective so that the public and also the decision makers on both sides, in this case decision makers in uh, Kerala government and decision makers in railway board, they can also um, uh, listen to the uh, objections and opposition to the proposal and uh, they can uh, seek clarification and uh, hope that, so that it will help them in moving forward with this thing. So uh, the, the purpose should be to convey to the people, public and the decision makers about the reasons for this strong opposition to the feasibility report and the DPR which I have found after my close association uh, of last three years and studying very documents that both these reports, feasibility report and the DPR are uh, sort of completely fudged and fabricated uh, reports and uh, they are extremely deficient and they are worthy of outright rejection. So these are very strong reasons, you know. So um, uh, the purpose of this was to uh, convey so that we can answer questions of the people and the decision makers. So, so I will not like to say anything more. I am waiting for reply of the state government, the chief secretary. So After that government? only I will be able to respond. What if the government says that yes, it has been uh, held under the auspices of the state government? Will you be uh, reconsidering the decision of the Yeah, you see they should clarify everything, you know, that it is invitation should come from chief secretary, that the moderator uh, the, uh, should be uh, a senior secretary of the government of Kerala and I have suggested that some senior officer of railway board should also be the co-moderator. So, uh, there, there will be moderator, one from uh, state government and one from the railway board. And then the purpose should be made crystal clear that it is an exchange of ideas, exchange of opinions and views and the reasons. Okay, we, have, we will put forward our reasons why uh, this project has to be dropped as per the current plan, not silver line as a whole. I have never said that Kerala does not need a silver line, but as per the current plan, it has to be dropped. So, so th this is how it is, you know, it should be an exchange of views and clarifications that uh, either side may need. And I have also said that uh, the uh, people, uh, the experts of SISTRA who have prepared this feasibility report and DPR, they should also be present in the audience so that if, uh, the, if any of the uh, panelists and uh, the moderator want to ask questions uh, about the work they have done, they can respond then and there. Now, uh, the government has, uh, earlier they had decided on Thomas uh, Joseph P. Thomas on this. Now, he is not there in the uh, scheduled discussion. Or do you feel that there is a political pressure on the government or the KRL to drop him? You see, I would not like to speculate on, on that, but I have to say one thing that the uh, manner in which, uh, abrupt manner in which he has been uh, removed is rather unceremonious. Uh, this could have been avoided. No, uh, regarding what you said earlier, uh, the invitation, the last invitation you got was from K-Rail or from this and the No, no, board? it was, it was uh, the message that we got was that chief, very clearly it says that chief secretary has desired that a panel discussion should be held and then details were given, how, who are the uh, invitees and uh, who will be the moderator and uh, uh, that it will be, it is not a debate, it is an exchange of views. It is not a debate, you know, nobody is trying to prove his point, you know, it is a exchange, exchange of views. So this is what it should be, it should be a healthy exchange of views trying to understand the other's point of view so that the decision makers can move forward. When did that change? When did that change? It, everything changed yesterday only. Yesterday? Yes. When, when we received the formal invitation, that changes everything because the tone and tenor, tenor of the uh, letter and uh, what it says is the objective, that is the total variance with what we, we were told earlier. So the last uh, need you got was from K. Right? Yes, yesterday. When I when I rang when I rang that number, I found that it is from uh, 
MD, it is uh, the, some assistant to MDKRDC had responded. Okay, so it is, yeah. so this, uh, this information, uh, the invitations and all this thing was, I, it was revealed that it is coming from MD's office. But that doesn't matter, you know. You see, MD, KRDCL can look after all the logistics, everything. But the most important thing is that it should be, an invitation come, should come from Chief Secretary and the state government should be fully involved in this panel discussion. No, they have actually said that you were not involved in the, any, uh, what you call, higher decision making process of KRL. You were hardly involved in hardly for three months. That is what one of the statements that KRL has put forward yesterday, that you were involved only for three months. You see, uh, this is not uh, important whether I spent three months or three years. What is important is that a preliminary feasibility report whose purpose is to examine all the broad issues and see if the proposal is okay or it needs modification. So what is important is that after detailed deliberation, let me make it very clear, this report did not come about just like that, you know. One month before publishing the report, Sistra sent uh, that these are our findings. And then we had almost every third day, every fourth day, a meeting with MD KRDCL and, his, uh, and their officers. Then we sent draft chapters also, also to them, so that they can offer their comments. And of course, uh, MD KRDCL was uh, visibly and plainly unhappy that we are saying that you should consider uh, broad gauge and that real estate development should be delinked uh, from the alignment, alignment should not be taken outside the city. So we considered all the objections, comments, op opinions of KRDCL, sent them draft chapters, we held discussion with Sistra headquarter also and finally the report that was submitted is the unanimous report of Sistra. And after that, there is a lot of, you know, mis uh, disinformation going on. That report, they are saying it is the report of Alok Verma. So this is absolutely stupid, you know. <laughs> this is, you, you see the report, it is the report of Sistra. As per the contract, you know, this is the report they were required to submit. And one thing important to note is that Sistra, after I left, uh, MDKRDCL sent a seven page, you know, letter, you know, that this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. But actually all these issues had been discussed. So, MDKRDCL is saying that later on Sistra rejected the, the report. Now, the, the point is, where is the revised report? There is no revised report. It means that the report which was submitted on 20th March is the final preliminary feasibility report. So, please beware of this. Uh, disinformation and it shows what is the intention of these people, you know. They, they don't, KRDCL, I am sure, the, is not interested at all in a, in a fair and proper discussion. So, this is why we, uh, I am of course very clear that uh, state government should be fully involved in this panel discussion. It should be Hello, moderated.